Hey guys, Orgifontis here, with another Prismata game analysis. And today I bring you an absolutely insane game, where once again, almost every unit in the advanced set, except for one, was used. So if we look at the game, we see some very influential playmakers. We see Centrifuge, Gauss Fab, Frostbite, Ossified Drone, Gaussite Symbiote, Tatsu, Lucina, and to round everything off, Centurion. We jump into the game. Start by going for the third engineer, and my game plan is going to go centrifuge into Centurion. And uh, Centurion's a very, very good blocker, but it's kind of expensive in terms of tech. One way to get around this is to just get the Centurion off of the centrifuge. So this way you don't have to go for like double blast forge or something, which in this set would go to waste. Uh, my opponent also goes for third engineer, and due to how the numbers work out, he's actually going to be the first person to get the centrifuge. And the first centrifuge in this set's pretty scary, because there's stuff like Lucina and Frostbite, so he can put on a lot of pressure. Uh, however, I'm pretty confident I can defend, so I opt to go for the second centrifuge. And my opponent seeing this does go for the aggressive option of Animus. And uh, th what this game's going to turn into is my opponent's going to be going for a, a very aggressive centrifuge, whereas I'm going to be going for more of a defensive centrifuge, where I react to what my opponent's doing. Uh, I just go for a conduit here, because I want to go something like Centurion into Gauss Fab, and I need to start stockpiling the green now to do so. And uh, my opponent goes for Double Frostbite. So Double Frostbite means that I can't defend with just Centurion next turn, because when his Centrifuge pops, he's going to have a Lucina and one or two more points of damage on top of that. So seeing that, I'm forced to get a Blast Ward here which means I can go Centurion Wall to defend. And I also get an Animus here, because I want to get Ossified Drones. And Ossified Drones are pretty good against Frostbites, because how Frostbites usually work is the Frostbite player will stack up a bunch of Frostbites, and his opponent will be forced to like force field everything or something like that. If you can get the Ossifieds out in time, you don't have to force field, and the Ossifieds still give you gold every turn until you absolutely need to use them. So it's just a very efficient way to defend against Frostbites. My opponent does indeed go for Lucina, and he gets a wall here because he doesn't get a Blast Forge. So he always has something to defend, and of course a Steel Splitter. And uh, he actually opts to go for a second Animus here, because he wants to go for something like Tatsu Nullifier into Frostbite, which is a very aggressive and scary line of play. Just pressures your opponent quite a bit with the freeze you can do. And on my turn I actually go Centurion, Wall, Ossified as planned, and I had two red left, so I got a Gaussite Symbiote. This means with the Conduit, I have the option of going for Gauss Fab next turn if I want to. My opponent gets a Tatsu here, and just a Gauss Cannon for damage. And uh, his Freeze doesn't really do anything, so I just get to absorb 4 damage on Centurion. And on my turn, I decide to ossify, because uh, one ossify drone is basically just a rhino, you don't really start getting value until you ossify a bit. Uh, remaining red, I buy frostbite, and I actually have the option of going for a gauss fabricator here, because I had 4 green and 18 gold. However, if I were to go for the gauss fab, I would have to defend really awkwardly with leaving back a bunch of drones or something like that, and I didn't want to do that. So instead, I actually just go for two gauss cannons, a wall, and a force field. And uh, this actually defends pretty well. The Gauss Cannons are also more aggressive than the Gauss Fabricator option, because it takes about three turns for the Gauss Fabricator to build up more damage than two Gauss Cannons. And in this sort of game, I want to pressure my opponent as much as possible. The other thing about the Gauss Cannons is they're not very breach vulnerable, so even my opponent freezes everything and breaches, he's gonna only be able to pick off, say, the Gauss Symbiote or something and a bunch of drones rather than actually being able to pick off my damage. Whereas for me, uh, if I were to breach my opponent, then he would immediately lose his Lucina and probably his Tatsu also. And if he loses either of those, then that's most of his offense gone. So uh, I have a much more breach safe strat, I guess, and my opponent has a breach vulnerable strat, which will play out this game. I did defend in such a way that if he wanted to, he can kind of breach for zero and have me absorb nothing. However, this would cost him his two Frostbites, so all in all it's not actually that great. 
since he would also have to defend by like buying double rhino or something and that's not a very efficient use of his resources so instead he decides to just let me absorb for five and uh, stack frostbites which is pretty reasonable he finally gets a blast forge here because he's going to need it eventually and I just start stacking Gauss Cannons. So once again, I go for sort of the safer, less breach vulnerable strategy. And with my red, I had the option of ossifying. However, that would mean my defense would be really awkward. So instead, I just stack two Frostbites, which applies a ton of pressure to my opponent. Again, my opponent cannot get breached. Otherwise, he loses this game. And in this sort of situation, if he wanted to, he could again freeze Centurion or something like that and breach for one or two. However, I uh, crafted my defense in such a way that even if he freezes everything except for Centurion, uh, I have exactly enough that I won't lose in Centurion on defense. So he decides not to freeze anything because even if he were to freeze the Centurion with Frostbites or something, uh, by breaching he doesn't do enough damage to warrant losing the four frostbites worth of pressure. And he just uh, assembles more defense. So my frostbites kind of forced him to buy the extra rhino here in the wall. And he's only able to buy two frostbites instead of the three or four he otherwise would have been able to. And I'm still in okay shape. Like at this point, my opponent's actually attacking for more damage and has more freeze than me. However, I do have the Centurion, which absorbs for 5 every turn, so his damage is only slightly greater than mine. In terms of the freeze though, when he freezes my stuff, I'm not very breach vulnerable, so the worst thing he can do to me is to kill my Centurion. Whereas my opponent, if I were to freeze his stuff, will be in a lot of trouble because uh, Lucina cannot die and neither can Tatsu. And I just briefly look at what the freeze is and realize that I would only be killing two rhinos, which isn't worth it. So I just stack more frostbites, get a gal's cannon, and uh, I actually offer him a gambit here. If he were to freeze on my walls, force fields, ossifies, and stuff, he can actually kill my centurion. However, it would cost him six frostbites, and the turn following that I can defend pretty effortlessly because everything he would freeze would be back up. And uh, my opponent actually does take my gambit here. So he freezes everything and uh, kills my centurion. However, in order for him to do that, he needs to attack with all of his stuff, which makes his defense incredibly awkward. And he's going to be forced to leave back actually seven drones, just so I don't breach and kill Lucina. And at this point, I realize if I were to freeze... All I would be doing is killing 6 drones, which is pretty good, but I think I can do better. So instead of just freezing all his stuff right now, I actually get 2 more frostbites. And uh, make it basically almost impossible for my opponent to defend next turn. And I'm able to defend pretty effortlessly myself just by buying a wall. And at this point, because he already used all his frostbites, Suddenly, he's just not applying any pressure anymore. And even though he's threatening like 12 damage, most of that is like perforators and rhinos that he needs to leave back on defense. And uh, he makes a slight miscalculation, so I'm able to breach for one and kill his Lucina. And at that point, that's pretty much the game. My opponent just resigns. So it's a very interesting game here. Uh, even though my opponent was ahead on damage and freeze almost the entire game, because I went for a uh, not-so-breach-vulnerable strat, and I also had Centurion and Ossified drones, I was able to defend for just enough that I was able to eventually overwhelm my opponent with Frostbites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week for another episode. Until then, bye guys.